Well, welcome back to Building SY Mistress. This is another big episode. I get to it and get all of that penultimate batch of panels all fitted in place. None of that ever comes without its challenges. Everything came up really well, but you have to fight for it. And just to summarize those areas, it was the cabin two locker, the fridge freezer area, the head slash bathroom cabinet, and the nav desk. Oh, and by the way, just a shout out to the Adelaide Hills, another beautiful part of the world in South Australia where I was born. But before we get started on the work of this episode, it's time to get back and have a look at this post-it note list. I am going to be able to cross off and remove four things, woohoo, which are fit and finish the engine box, fit and finish the heads bathroom cabinet, fit the heads and plumbing, make the cabin to front and four shelves, make up and fit the main panels for the fridge freezer cabinet. So that's five things. And for those who remember, I did kind of put as number one, the three things for the head slash bathroom work. So they were all one thing. Now they're kind of broken up a little bit, but the main work in that area is now done. There is a little bit of fine tuning, which I'll come to, but, Time to remove some notes. So that engine box, pretty much done. The heads cabinet, done. The main head or toilet, done. That cabin two locker, done. And the main panels in that fridge freezer cabinet. Now to explain just a couple of details about those things. So the engine box on that job was to fit the struts as well, those gas struts. I haven't gone ahead with that for a couple of reasons. One of which, just from a fitting point of view, there is a bit of a complication there. So what I've done is I've now got this on a blue color and that's gonna be one of those, that can be sorted out ahead jobs. It doesn't stop me using that box and getting access to the engine. So those struts can wait for the moment. So they're gonna go over here on the blue list of jobs. And of course, when it comes to the head slash bathroom, getting all that plumbing finished, which really involves just connecting hoses between all the fittings and the parts in there, that's gonna come very soon ahead, but there is a bit of work involved in it. So that's got its own little new job there to do. So we're gonna add that one back onto the list. The exciting thing for me from this point on, although it might not seem like it, a lot of this work here, with the exception of the V-Birth cabinets, really are little jobs to complete them. That for me is very exciting, and I do expect in the videos ahead that you're going to be able to see a lot of little jobs ticked off and completed. So thanks for being patient and listening to the explanations here and joining along following Building SY Mistress's journeys. And just to ask, if you like this video, please give it a like. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or would like to leave a comment, please do that below. Now let's get into the work of this episode. Well, after the lengthy work, it is very nice to be in this position, a bunch of panels here to finish off several areas inside of Mistress. Just to talk you through what I've got here, these three panels here are for the cabin two locker. There is a third shelf for those who might've noticed. I just had to do a little addition job to that. So that didn't get completed to be painted with all these others. I'll be doing that later and I'll come to that in a moment. The large panel over here is the main front panel for the fridge freezer unit. The bottom is also completed. That didn't need top coating with white though. So you'll see that later. That's not painted, but it is inside of Mistress, ready to go to be installed. 
The two panels down here at the front are the doors for the cabinet inside of the head slash bathroom. These two small pieces here are just to complete the navigation table. It'll be very nice to get those in place actually. I'll just turn the camera around so we can go onto the other stands to explain what's going to happen over there. These are the two shelf panels for that cabinet inside the head slash bathroom. But I've got some work still to do on these which is what these parts over here are for. For those with a keen eye, you might have noticed when I was sanding and epoxying the shelf support battens, these were also being done at the same time. So what these are going to be for are to create dividers on these shelves in that cabinet where these shelves will be going, as well as a front piece as a fiddle to stop things falling out. And so what that will look like is, just to get these over here, this in place, see how we go. Each one are different lengths. They're going to be divided into three equal divisions there. And then this is the front piece, which, if you remember, there's a return on that cabinet. So this piece only needs to go until there, and then it reaches that upright panel. Here's the pieces for this shelf here. Goes up the other way. And then that fits in like that. So obviously, I haven't measured these or marked where they go exactly. So just to give you a bit of an idea, I think this is going to be a good idea. I can get a hold of little plastic baskets. For example, you could have a basket each for each person, fill your bathroom gear into the basket, have it in one of these spaces and your basket won't slide around. These need to be painted white though, of course. I'm not going to leave them like this. So when I do that shelf for the locker, I'll do all those together at the same time. So the next part of the shelves puzzle is to get these dividers fitted. I've already marked them in place. What I need to do now is just drill some locating holes for some screws to hold these in place. Once I've put some epoxy glue on the underside, which is what will really hold them in place. And this front piece here, these ones here, I'm not going to fit those until the shelves are in place. Just so that I get them exactly centered on that space that I've allowed there. But this represents the last thing to do with these before they can be fitted.
Here's another little job. This is the bottom panel for what will be the fridge freezer unit. It's 800 millimetres long, and the way that it will be installed, there's nothing really apart from fixing a little post onto the hull itself. There's nowhere really to sort of break up that distance to support it. So what I've done is I've made up this beam out of rosewood. And the reason is I don't want this to sag over time. So putting this beam in just to support this over time so that that panel won't bow at all, I think is a good idea. I've epoxy coated that, two coats of epoxy. Now what I'll do is mix up some epoxy glue and just bond that in place.
Well, this really has come up really nice. It kind of exceeded my expectations, actually. I just think that it slots in really discreetly. And also, I think it'll be very user-friendly. As I explained previously, it's a locker, but at the same time, that door is hinged so that you can get really easy access to all of the shelving inside. There's a few little things to do. I must admit, I should have painted the edges here white, which I didn't. I will attend to that later. It's not a big deal. And the reason is because I didn't really expect for this to be opened a lot, but I think in practice, whoever's using this, including myself, probably will open the door quite a lot. The other thing is, I'll be adding two of these pretty discreet and I think reasonably attractive push button locks, one at the top, one at the bottom, to hold that nice and firm against those shelves. And then the bottom there, at a later stage, what I had in mind with that space was, it's a place where you could put shoes, or who knows what really, but a net just to sort of retain things when that door opens. And also to point out, these three 316 gauge stainless steel hinges, I think they look pretty good as well. Nice and chunky and strong, but at the same time, fairly discreet, just sort of cornered in there against the bulkhead and that door. Happy, basically. Now, moving on to fitting other things. Sorry to break this install momentum, everybody, but my editing time has run out. I do look forward to getting part two out to you. Till then.